Are you guys craving Morton Bay bugs? From grilled to gourmet pasta, I've got five mouth-watering recipes. Plus, I'll share my top tips and tricks for preparing them perfectly. Let's dive in. Let's cut these rascals in half, right down the middle. Put your hand on there so you can get some grunt down here to cut these guys. Roll your knife, and there they're done. Look at all that beautiful sweet meat in there. Now, we're looking to see if you can find a poop tube. There it is, and you just need to pull that guy out. Now, let's take the pancreas and all the mustard out. Smoked chili salt in there. So I'm going to up the ante with a little bit of K Pow Green Gringus chili sauce. Love it. Let's melt that. Now I'm going to taste it. It's mixed up. Citrusy, garlic, parsley. It's all going on. And kapow is in there as well with the green gringris. Just giving it that little subtle heat. I could have that over anything. Scallops, prawns, fish. I'd probably even stretch it to a steak. But hey, what about a steak with one of these Morton Bay bugs on top? That'd be pretty good. Surf and turf. Let's get it on to our Morton Bay bugs. Well, now you can do this part before your guests arrive, and you're going to take them to the barbecue, or you can cook them in the pan or on a grill inside. You take your choice. Oof. Yeah. Oh, man, these are going to be so good. Now you can cook them on the barbecue, you can cook them inside in a pan and a grill, whatever you like. It's going to be absolutely Absolutely delicious. Could pop these in the fridge if you've got people coming later and just get them out and straight to the grill so there's no work later on. So I've got my grill pan onto a medium to high heat to start off with. I'm going to pop these shell side down. That'll get better cooking so that they don't dry out. Look at these guys. Look at these guys. They're just starting to cook here, so I'm down in the tail end. So it's now time to turn them over. You've got to be careful. You don't want to overcook these guys. They just take a couple of minutes each side. Of course, if you're cooking on the barbecue, it really depends how hot your barbecue is. But they will dry out if you overcook them. They're sweet and delicious, so... Don't go disappearing off to fill your beer up. Hang in here with these guys while they're cooking. Get somebody else to go and give you a beer. Here we go, let's pour this over. Save wasting it. Okay, let's turn these guys over. All right, you can see they're on this lovely opaque colour. And you look in here, and the meat is going to come out easily. Yeah, it's just, you can see it's opaque all the way through. They are done. They are just beautiful. And a little lemon over the top. We've got a little bit of the butter left. And the last thing is just a little bit more of that fresh parsley over there. Oh my goodness. I am so excited to try these. 
This would be great if you're handing them around and you could have a fork for everybody to eat, but if you're putting them down in the table, try and get a plate that's got some really good contrast of colour. And let's put these guys on here. And just a little bit more parsley over the top. Oh, look at this. Absolutely beautiful. Spaghetti, aglio, olio, con pepperoncino, spaghetti, olive oil, garlic and chili. What say we put some Morton Bay bugs with it? That's going to tip it over the edge. Let's get going. <laughs> Let's flip these handsome fellas over, give them a snip here, because what we're trying to do is take out the meat. And then around here. Now, carefully with your scissors along the side. There we go. And we're looking to remove that poo tube, like that. Now, these are great for on the barbecue, some garlic butter, whatever you like on there. Or we could even cook them whole, but they're just a little bit not quite so easy to get the meat out when they're in the half like this. Doesn't matter, because I want small pieces through our spaghetti. Into a bowl ready for cooking. You can do this part before your guests arrive. Sale, in with the aqua. We want it angry. No olive oil in there. You don't need olive oil for cooking pasta. And we will travel to the chilli and the garlic. Thinly slice our garlic. Garlic is so good for us. And you start to smell it as soon as you cut it, right? And that's the allicin that forms once you cut it. Because you smell a garlic clove before you cut it. It doesn't really smell it much. Once you cut it, that's when all that beautiful allicin flavour comes out. Right, now we'll slice the chilli. I've got some Italian parsley chop. You could use curly leaf parsley if you like. So if you don't like it too hot, take some seeds out. I like it to pack a little bit of a punch. Let's go back, check on our spaghetti. See, it's not sticking to anything, is it? You don't need any extra virgin olive oil in your water for your pasta. It's a waste. Don't need it. This dish doesn't really take any longer than it takes to cook the spaghetti, and that's about three minutes away. So I can start. A good, healthy drizzle of extra virgin olive oil in here. Good for us. It's the best oil to cook with. There we go. That is in there. In goes the garlic. And I don't want the oil too hot because I don't want to burn the garlic. Chili's going in. Chili's in there. Oh, the aromatics coming off that garlic now is just sensational. Oh. All right, we're just going to let that soften up and cook a little bit, but I don't really want to add any colour to the garlic. I've turned the heat up a little bit because now I'm not going to be in danger of burning the garlic once the Morton Bay bug meat goes in there. There we go. Get this really sizzling. Now I'm going to take a little of the pasta water because it's going to be starchy. It's going to help emulsify things. There we go, in with a little bit of butter. Beautiful. A little bit of the Italian parsley and just a touch of your favourite flake salt in there. And we are ready to serve everybody. Look at that. Happy days. Bon appetito, everybody. Look at this. Oh, smells incredible. Oh. I'm speechless. Mm. Oh, my God. Just a little bit of heat in there. The garlic. Great quality pasta. And those Morton Bay bugs, baby. They are incredible. Just a few drops of lemon juice over the top. Sets it alive. So good.
Let's get a fiesta going on with these Morton Bay bugs and make Mexican tortillas. Let's dive in. Morton Bay bugs. We're going to flip them upside down. We're just going to trim them here because I want to get all of the meat out. I'm going to cut them with...
lives, even though we probably won't admit it. But hey, what about a Moreton Bay Bargain Retro Cocktail with some pretty special ingredients? Let's dive in. Well, there's Moreton Bay Bugs. We're going to flip them upside down. We're just going to trim them here because I want to get all of the meat out. I'm going to cut them with some scissors right there and turn it around and do it on the other side. In you go. Now you just wiggle them backwards and forwards like that and out it comes. Look at that. All beautiful. So we can discard this guy with a sharp pair of kitchen scissors. And now we can just slide the Morton Bay bug meat out. Look at that. Beautiful. Ready for us to cook. Love it. Just look for the poo tube to see if we can pull that out. This one's not playing. Doesn't even seem like it's got one. I'm using this Lot 8 Citrus Olive Oil. And some good heat there. In they go. So I'm going to give these about a minute and a half on each side and I'll try and get the sides of the side. And you can see they'll start to cook up, curl up just a fraction. I'm turning the heat down a fraction now because I'm really hot to get that cooking started. Okay, this little guy can turn over. Because he's a little smaller. Get this guy over. Time for that guy, and this one. These guys, they look absolutely fabulous. So if you're going to do them on the barbecue instead of in a pan, just toss them in a little bit of really good extra virgin olive oil, and then onto the barbecue. That way they won't stick to the grill. And another turn, final little turn there. So these guys have been in here for about three minutes. That one has, but this, these are going to remain in for another 30 seconds, these big guys. There we go, they are done. Right, you've got to have iceberg lettuce, crispy, crunchy lettuce, love it. It's old fashioned, but it's still one of the best lettuces. So we've just got a little bit there. I've got a little bit more for luck. Some wasabi mayonnaise. Fire roasted tomatoes. Now this comes in a juice. I'm just going to leave the juice behind. I've got a holy spoon. A little bit there just for the moment. And because we've got fire roasted tomatoes, we need to give it a little fire. Just a little bit of this beautiful k Pow hot habanero sauce. And you can always see on the side how hot it is out of 10. Mix it up thoroughly so you get all that mayonnaise through there. Now we need some avocado, but this is going to be delicious, this salad, because it's a combination of wasabi mayonnaise and the K-Pow hot sauce. With well, those fire-roasted tomatoes, it's going to be pretty jolly spectacular. Now, let's get some avocado in there. Kind of cool, you can slice it like this. Nice and thin, not all the way down to the end. And then we'll take them into half. And we'll just give it a little turn around like that. And we'll get another guy over here. Little drizzle of citrus extra virgin olive oil over the avocado. Touch of smoked chili salt. Now let's get some colour popping on here. And for the second piece, I'm just going to cut them into some smaller pieces. A 
And finally, some fukaki, which is a Japanese seasoning, which comes from Opito Bay out over the Coromandel. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, a prawn cocktail that's turned into a Morton Bay bug cocktail. I can't do a series of Morton Bay bug recipes without showing you my favourite. Morton Bay bugs in an Indian white wine and lemon chai butter sauce. Easy as. I want lovely pieces of Morton Bay bug, so I'm going to take the meat out of the shell. Just snip it on each side there. Now, hold it in the fingertips like that and run the scissors just to get rid of that shell from the side there and do the same thing on the other side. Now pull it back and then carefully lift out the meat. But the next thing I want to do is cut these guys into smaller pieces. Into a bowl. And now the star of the show, a flavour shot. It's kind of the new way to cook everything because just open the sachet and sprinkle it on in. You can mix this with a yogurt and you've got an Indian yogurt sauce. You can put it into your scrambled eggs. Let's give them a good mix around. There we go. Done. Let's prepare a little tomato. Now we need some tomato. I've got these lovely beefsteak tomatoes. There we go. That will be enough. I'm just cutting them into cubes. Don't have to be the same size. And I like the seeds and the tomato water because that's going to add a little bit extra to our sauce because I'm only using white wine and the liquid out of the tomatoes for our sauce. This is a dish that needs to be cooked at the last minute, but we can have our Morton Bay bugs marinating in the Indian flavour shot. We can have our tomato cut up. We can have a few chives finely diced into little pieces there. Some soft butter, I'm not going to use all that, so don't have a heart attack just yet. And a lemon, we'll cut that in half because we're going to use the juice. And you need a good olive oil on standby, and I'm using the citrus lot 8 olive oil, which I absolutely love. Right, let's get some into the pan. Okay, let's go. Be generous, be generous. Olive oil's good for us. It's the extra virgin olive oil. It's got the citrus flavour. We need the oil to come up to a shimmer. So I'm going to turn that heat to a medium high. Once the Morton Bay bugs go in, we'll turn the heat down. You can see the oil is just starting to shimmer. It's just that very gentle wave on top. So in can go our Morton Bay bugs. This divide separate them so it's important that you know we wash the chopping board as we go so when I cut the tomatoes I wasn't cutting on leftover raw Morton Bay bug juice okay so we've sealed them off and they are done so we'll pop those into the bowl tomato goes in the white wine the rest of the Indian flavor shot can go in Squeeze the lemon juice in there. So I'm letting it bubble away here and I'm reducing it down and cooking the alcohol out of the white wine. It's been bubbling away. It's as angry as all hell. It's been going on for about a minute and I'm having a taste of this. And make sure it doesn't taste of raw wine. It tastes of white wine, Indian flavours, lemon, tomato. And you can see it's reduced down but I've got quite a lot of sauce there. And I still want it rapidly boiling. And then watch what I do now. Not a lot of butter, but just little pieces of butter around here. And it makes it easier if it's soft. So you can just squeeze it into these, with your fingers, into these little chunks that go in there. And when the butter's just about melted, so we we'll probably put, I don't know, about a tablespoon in there. Put the Morton Bay bugs back in there. Sprinkle some chives in, and we're done. Look at this steaming hot deliciousness. And I think this will, it'll be rich. Taste of white wine, Indian flavors, the tomato, the chives. 
And trust me, you're going to want some bread to go mopping that sauce up because you are going to love it. The Morton Bay Bug in here is the star of the show. With a subtle Indian white wine lemon chive butter sauce, you're definitely going to need some bread to mop that sauce up. You're going to love it. But it's just balanced, it all works together, and it's so easy. You've just got to cook it at the last minute. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll sign off now. You don't need to watch me eat it, do you?